Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy! And welcome back to Dangrumpa V3. We're gonna be continuing and completing the second class trial in this video. We're gonna find out who done it. Poo-hoo-hoo! It seems the voting has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? The hell you saying? Wait a second. Wait, wait a second. What result? Voting time hasn't happened yet. Well, George Aww. stands over there. Yeah. Yes, it has. Don't you remember, Monosuke? <laughs> no, it hasn't. You're the one who doesn't remember, Montaro. Uh-oh. Aw, oh, man, you're right. Silly me, I'm so forgetful. <laughs> wow, I didn't expect you all to get so worked up over such a small lie. You kids are pretty gullible, huh? Now then. Well, anyway, let's just skip this trial and jump ahead to chapter three. The hell you saying? Oh, wait a second. We don't know who the culprit yet. Oh, we don't know the culprit yet. <laughs> yeah, who killed Rantaro? Oh, oh, that was chapter one's case. How can you be this forgetful? Mono didn't, didn't say anything. Interesting. Hmm. Resume. Resume. I know. Resume. Resume. Oh, what a shocking truth revealed. Back to square one. Square one? If square one, they wouldn't have got eaten by the competition. After that terrible movie, they had no other choice. Wow. What does that mean? It means he doesn't want to get involved in another pointless argument. Like this one. I like his little paw. Yeah. We shouldn't listen to anything Maki says. She's just going to throw out more lies. But if we don't ask her for more details, how will we know for sure? I told you already, we don't need to. I hate liars. Liar, liar, pants on fire. More one to talk. Maki, just ignore that lying little degenerate. We'll listen to what you have to say. It must have been a little after midnight last night. He visited me at my research lab. He wanted me to show him the motive video that I received. Motive video? If Ryoma came to ask about that, does that mean you had his motive video? As I recall, Ryoma had Maki's motive video, correct? Does this mean you and Ryoma received one another's motive video? Maybe. I actually didn't check the one I got, so I wouldn't know. Maki admitted earlier that she hadn't checked her cub's pet. Then why did Ryoma think that Maki had his motive video? If he went around asking at random, he might have asked some people besides Maki. He never asked me. He probably never asked you guys either, right? Then, who was it that told Ryoma about his cub's pad? Who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? It would have to be someone who knew who had each pad. Is it one of the mono cubs? Oh, I guess we have to choose someone. Who, who, who looked at cubs pads? Kokichi! Little liar, liarson. Little shit. He's a little shit. It's you. Decide. Deck guide. That would be Kokichi. Yeah. Cubs pants. Me. I hate to so laugh. You the saw most. the motive videos. Did you tell Ryoma that Maki had his? When males get this quiet, they're either caught in a lie or thinking dirty thoughts. Hmm. What happened then, Maki? Just people. After Ryoma asked you for his motive video. I told Ryoma just to take it from my room. I keep my room unlocked. Oh, Maki, that's super careless. Aren't you scared someone might kill you in your sleep? And then what happened? I don't know what happened after that. I'm not even sure if he saw his motive video. When he asked me, 
He said that he would show me my motive video in return. But I wasn't interested, so I declined. And that's pretty much it. Hmm. So you don't even know if Ryoma saw his motive video? What a bunch of crap. If Maki met with Ryoma at nighttime, that proves he was still alive then. Which means, even though we don't have alibis from 8 to 10, Maki and me aren't suspects. If that story is true. It's true. Then why did you wait until now to bring that up? I didn't say anything until now because I wasn't in the mood to be suspected. Suspected? What for? Kirumi said it earlier. It seems that Ryoma and I had each other's motive videos. That's pretty fishy, right? So I didn't want to mention it to avoid suspicion. You didn't say anything because you weren't in the mood? It is quite selfish to keep this information hidden because you were not in the mood. Well, whatever. Either way, let's just believe Maki. Yes, yes! Those who believe shall be saved! No, we need to wait. There is still more to confirm... Well then, why don't we ask Kokichi? Huh? What now? You never answered my question. Were you the one who told Ryoma that Maki had his motive video? Is that really important? Yes, it is important. Because if Kokichi told Ryoma, it becomes more likely that Ryoma visited Maki during nighttime. I see. Kokichi's response may help corroborate Maki's testimony. Now you understand why I don't want your charade. I want the truth. Well, Kokichi? Did you tell Ryoma? You said it earlier. I don't want to die, right? If you really don't want to die, then you better tell us the truth. Here comes the dramatic turnabout. Now I'm the one pressured by Maki. Okay, it's true. I told Ryoma. Just as I thought. But that's not a bad thing, right? He wanted to know, so I told him. Have you seen everyone's motive video? Nope, not yet. I was gonna wait until we hosted, like, a movie screening party. I just checked who had whose, so I could give them back to everyone after. Hmm, I see. Anyway, if Kokichi told Ryoma that, then he must have gone to see Maki. That means Maki's telling the truth. Ryoma was alive during nighttime. No. We cannot be too sure about that yet. Even if Ryoma and Maki did meet, it does not mean it was during nighttime yesterday. So you still suspect me? I am saying it could still be a possibility. If there is still a small chance of you being the culprit, then I cannot trust you entirely. Because everyone's lives are at stake. Then which is it? A lie or not lie? She's not lying! Can't you tell just by looking at her? If it was that easy, we'd be done by now. No. This is a world of lies and betrayal. Himiko! It breaks my heart to hear you say depressing things! I find Maki's testimony suspicious. It's far too convenient for her. This is difficult to determine. Maki is lying! Like I said before, a liar like me knows their own kind. I'm not lying. I did meet up with Ryoma during nighttime. I'm telling the truth. Is it a lie or the truth? This is the turning point. This will change the fate of the case. And I... I said I would believe in Kaito. And that means believing in Maki. And that means... I have to do it. I need us all on the same page. I have to change where this argument is going, just like Kaede did. You know what that means, right? Non-stop debate! No. What does it mean? It means we're, we're gonna have to lie. Yeah! Ryoma the previous night. What a load of crap! Maki only see Ryoma at night? Yes, I didn't meet with anyone else. Did anyone see those two together? 
that there. Surely yeah, they would have so. come forward already. <laughs> if no one can prove that this meeting took place, if no one can yeah. prove that. Got it. I only deal the truth. Perjury. It's a lie. We told a lie. I might not be able to prove they met, but I can prove Maki wasn't alone. Oh? Please explain. Well, Kaito and I train together every night. And yesterday, because of the insect meet and greet, we started late. Huh? Ah, Kaito, don't worry. You don't have to say anything. Anyway, we were doing some frog squats on the school stairs. When we heard two people talking. People talking? We knew one of them was Maki, but we couldn't pick out the other one. But now that I think about it, it must have been Ryoma. What a lie. What? Uh, yeah, maybe. That was probably around midnight. Wait a minute. If you heard their voices, then that means... So Ryoma and Maki did meet up. No, no, hold up! Why'd you sit on that info for so long? Because until just now, I didn't think it was relevant. I had no reason to bring it up. Now, now. We don't know if Maki was really talking to Ryoma, right? That is true. If I knew for certain, I would have said so sooner. But considering the circumstances, I can't imagine it being anyone but Ryoma. None of us were talking to Maki last night, correct? So it must have been him. And nobody say you suddenly remember talking to Maki. It's way too late for that. <laughs> so, that's what we just did. Yeah. And you two did not confirm who Maki was talking to at the time? Why would they if need I to? If I overheard a conversation in the middle of the night, I surely would have checked. We are still part of a killing game after all. Whoa, whoa <laughs> chill out. Why the scary face? That was my bad, but it's not really manly to eavesdrop, you know? I wouldn't do something so uncool. Anyway, I know that we heard those voices. Maki is not lying. Then Gonto will believe friends. Aww. You're gonna believe him? Just like that? But Shuichi has no reason to lie. Yes. If his lie leads us to the wrong culprit, he will join us in eternal sleep. Unless he wishes for death, we should be able to believe him. That's right. You can believe me. Yeah, you're right. I'll believe him too. Belief shall set you free. I'd be so surprised if Shuichi was a liar. Especially after we believed him for so long. We wouldn't be able to trust anyone anymore. Well, it's not like he's lying anyway. <laughs> All right, that proves it then. Ryoma was still alive during nighttime. Uh, I love how Kokichi can always tell when you're lying. Yeah. I think his ultimate power In is actually words, telling when people lie. In other words, me and lie. Maki aren't suspects <laughs> anymore. But I guess that means everyone's alibis no longer matter, yes? So everyone is culprit again? So we're right back where we started. What a pain. However, well it should be clear now that the crime occurred after nighttime began. But then when was Ryoma's body placed inside the piranha tank? Well, the gym is locked at nighttime, so it must have been the next morning, but... That's not possible. Himiko and I were at the gym, remember? So did we fuck up by thinking the body got stuffed into the piranha tank? I don't think so. We have evidence to prove that's what happened. When did the culprit throw the body into the piranha tank? When did Ryoma's body get placed in the piranha tank? Maki was with Ryoma around midnight, so it couldn't have been before nighttime. Isn't the midnight part your fabrication? Did she ever say midnight? Yeah, she did. Oh, she did? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, And if it couldn't have been the morning after, that leaves... The only time they could have done it was during nighttime, huh? Did you forget the gym's not open at nighttime, Dick Cheese? What about the cable? Dick Cheese? That's gross. 
But we'll that's get there. the only possibility, because by morning we were already at the gym. It may be possible they slipped by without you noticing. No one can slip by me. I'm known far and wide as the snoozing sorceress. What a terrible title for a guard. Are you positive that you did not see it? You cannot enter the gym at nighttime. Kimiko would have seen it. She might strike out, but she always keeps her eye on the ball. She might strike out. I don't even play baseball. But we can't disobey school rules, right? The body was probably moved in the morning. Calm down, everyone. Go to sure if we discuss disagreement. I see through your arguments. Disagreement? Oh, no. What? A disagreement? <laughs> you mean you're split down the middle again? Then the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds. Yippee! We've been waiting for this. Jeez, we gotta do that whole crazy thing oh again? God. Seems like our opinions are split on this matter. But if we focus on the evidence, the facts will become clear. All I have to do is show them and make them accept it. Make them. If I can't get them to see the truth, now my lie will have been for nothing. I won't fail. You can't fail. Yeah. You're all dead. Here we go. Let. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Yeah. 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 Okay. Did the culprit move the body just before the morning announcement? Angie. I was in front of the gym with the others before the announcement. Is it not possible you simply missed the culprit? Kimiko. We were right in front of the door. There's no way we could have missed them. Remember, the rules state that you can't enter the gym at night. Kaito. Rules probably don't apply to corpses, you know. The piranha tank is too far from the gym's entrance. I've got this! You might be able to reach the tank from the window above the stage. Ooh. But pool next to gym also off limits at night. Lucky! Entering the pool at night's what's off limits, not the pool area itself. But should we trust Maki's testimony in the first place? Tenko! It's okay, because we have Shuichi's testimony too! Yeah! You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. There you go. This is our answer. Good job. <laughs> Let's say it. Three, two, one. This, this is, is our answer. answer. It's true. This is our answer. But a corpse could. <laughs> I am positive that the window was how the culprit moved the body. They're a little bit off. The window is yeah. higher than the piranha tank, and it's pretty close by. Curtains might have been closed, but the window was open the whole investigation. That means it was certainly possible to put the body in the piranha tank from the window. However, I'm also positive the pain dividing the piranha tank was set up beforehand. That certainly couldn't be tossed in. It would need to be placed carefully. Even if the culprit were to throw the body from outside the window. The window is far too high. It cannot be reached from the floor. Ryoma was small. Gonta could have chucked him easy. Yes, but Gonta wouldn't do that. Gentlemen not chuck dead bodies. Being a gentleman has nothing to do with it. I know. They used the ladder in the gym. You tested it out while you were investigating, Shuichi. That ladder reached the window, right? So the culprit just needed to put the body through the window to pull it off, right? 
No, I don't think that method is possible because the ladder couldn't have been used like that in the crime. I can prove it. It doesn't reach the window. That's it. The only reason the ladder reached the window was because it was on the stage. If you use the ladder on the pool side, it would not quite make it. The ladder could barely reach the window when it was on the stage. And there is nothing on the pool side of the gym as tall as the stage. You put it right here. Finally, the ladder was found in the gym, correct? If the culprit used the ladder on the pool side, we wouldn't have found it in the gym. Boom. You mm. couldn't have thrown the ladder back through the window because it's too heavy. Then Gonta used his tarred strength to throw the ladder or the body or something. Gentlemen, Ooh. not throw dead bodies or ladders. Problematic. Super. The body could not have been thrown into the piranha tank to begin with. That'd be quite the shot. It would need to be placed carefully to prevent the glass pane from shifting. Or breaking. Got it, Musclehead? Even if we injected tons of steroids into you, it'd be impossible. Sorry, you're right. You didn't need to apologize, Gonta. How the culprit moved the body from the window. Ha! <laughs> you guys don't even know that? What a bunch of dimwits. Do you have the answer then? But of course. Tell him, Shuichi. Blow them all away with the truth. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> actually don't know that yet. <laughs> what? The culprit definitely moved the body through the window, but I don't know how. Seriously? Let's look at the pieces. That's you right. You just made a fool out of yourself after acting all high and mighty. Dudes just need to shut up and take their licks. What are we going to do, Shuichi? We gotta figure this out or we're done for. Hey, you gotta do something, Shuichi. Uh, I know, I have to do something, but... I don't know what to do. I haven't figured that out yet. Damn it. Am I really not good enough? Am I, am I no good as a detective? Uh, I can't do this. I can't. I don't think it really matters how the body got into the piranha tank. What? Gonta thinks it matter. We won't know culprit's trick unless we figure out. We're getting sidetracked. It doesn't matter how it was done, just who did it. We shouldn't focus on where we found the body. Instead, we need to focus on where he was killed. Where he was killed? Wouldn't it be more efficient if we focused on the murder scene instead? Yes, that's it. We were so caught up in where the body was found. When we should have been thinking about where the murder occurred. The murder scene would definitely have more clues about the culprit. Why didn't anyone realize this yet? <laughs> that's strange. Perhaps the culprit steered the conversation away from that topic. Then, culprit is someone in this room! Oh, oh, honey. Uh, <laughs> That's important to remember. It's not as if everyone here wants us to find the truth. One of us is trying to sabotage this trial. Well then, let's discuss the crime scene to figure out who the culprit is. That's not a bad idea for a robot. I think it's the Kaito. The last time I heard or... such a good idea was... I think it's Kaito or Kokichi. Hmm. When Nino told me to move in with her under the bridge to get out of the cold. Amy Kawa under the bridge? Oh my gosh. If we could determine where this all started, we could determine how it ended. Yes, it's much too soon to quit. The trial has only just begun. Thank you, Maki. That was a helpful insight. I can't believe you didn't notice that. I guess that's why you're still an apprentice. Whoa. Maki with the shade. Shemaine. 
Yeah. First, let's establish the crime scene. Okay. So. Wasn't it the dorm room? Ryoma was relaxing in his room when he got attacked. But the cause of death was drowning. There is nothing in his room that could collect enough water. He's got a toilet, doesn't he? Drowning toilets? Impossible! We should consider places where water is stored! The only place that fits is the pool. Yeah. That's wrong! No! That's wrong! No! Oh, the intense. pool could not have been the scene of the murder. <laughs> Ryoma was killed at nighttime. It is kind of an overreaction sometimes. Yeah. He's like, that's wrong! Yeah. Because sometimes they just casually make the statement. No swimming is allowed at nighttime, so a living person could not have gone in. Yep, a dead body is fine because it's just an object. But if a living person entered the pool, I think I might cry. Cry as loud as you want! I'll cry with you. We can spend the night together crying. And the morning after, I'll write goodbye on your mirror and lipstick before I quietly leave. Only after you leave do I realize how much you really mean to me. Aren't they siblings? Yeah. Quit being so gloomy. This is the year of the Jets. Fuck the Patriots. Uh, American football reference in the Dangarumpa game. I wonder... I wonder what the Venn diagram is of American football fans and Dangarumpa fans, because I think it's like I think this. it's you and Jake. I think it's like, yeah, it's like me and Jake, and that's it. That's crazy. I mean, I agree with the anyway, Patriots. Yeah, yeah. We can conclude it's impossible for him to have drowned in the pool. Where was Ryoma killed if not pool? Is there other place where water can be stored? Hmm. Where was Ryoma killed? I know there's some kind of clue. Look at me. Well, let's look at this. You already figured this out. Yeah. This is it. <coughs> the sink in Ryoma's lab. There were distinct scratch marks on it. Scratch marks on the sink? And I believe those scratches were caused by the scratched handcuffs. Mm hmm This is it! This is it! Starting to put it together. The handcuffs. They were scratched as well, correct? Oh well, yeah. Sort of looked like they'd been scraped against something. There's also the fact that the handcuffs were from Ryoma's lab. The marks on the sink came from the handcuffs in the same room. The size and shape of the scratches are consistent with the handcuffs, I'm sure. Hmm. How did those handcuffs get from the lab to the water tank? Because Ryoma was wearing them, right? Yes, though they were only visible for a brief moment when Ryoma appeared in the tank. I am certain he was wearing the handcuffs at the time. The handcuffs were left after the piranhas devoured Ryoma. So the culprit handcuffed Ryoma and drowned him in his lab sink. Ryoma must have been pretty yummy. They chomped up his entire body. Arms, legs, brain. Same disgusting things. I don't want to hear it. That mm. crunchy texture with the fatty parts just right. Then when they bite down, it gushes. Stop! Please stop! But how did culprit handcuff Ryoma? He could have used Shikuchi method to get away, unless someone ambushed him? It's possible they knocked him out before handcuffing him. <laughs> Though there's no way we can be sure, now that he's not but bones. I doubt he was ambushed. I'm pretty sure the culprit got Ryoma by... Ah, whoops. Don't pay attention to Lulomi. I'm just talking to myself. When you talk to yourself, pretend you're eating and chew with your mouth closed. Yeah! Oh. <laughs> you tell us, Otherwise, Moogie. you'll get a mouthful of peanut butter squid. 
It's so disgusting, you left. All right. Well, you kind of ruined it. Yeah, you lost this there. So we all agree Ryoma was drowned in the sink in his lap, right? That sink could have held enough water to do it for sure. All right, I'm calling it. The crime scene is Ryoma's fucking research lab. But how did the culprit carry his body to the gym from there? Isn't Ryoma's lab on the third floor of the academy? It's actually not far at all. Although, perhaps it's more accurate to say there's a shortcut. Was there a shortcut? What shortcut between Ryoma's lab and the gym did the culprit use? Let's figure it out. Whoa, it's this. It's the window. There! The shortcut is the window in Ryoma's lab. The window? That's right. the wall. <laughs> None of the windows in this school open. Except the one in Ryoma's lab. And on top of that, the window faced the pool. You could see the gem straight across. Do you think the culprit dropped Ryoma's body into the pool area from the lab window? Then they could have thrown the body into the piranha tank through the gym window. How's that? Mission complete! Your explanation contradicts some things we discussed earlier. The gym window was too high to reach from the poolside, even if one used the ladder. That's right! I apologize! I must go on a journey to reflect on this! We keep hitting dead ends, since we don't know how the body was thrown into the gym. <laughs> well... That didn't really give us any info about the crime. Not necessarily. We learned a lot of important information. Now that I'm sure the scene of the crime was Ryoma's lab, the case is becoming clearer. The scene of the crime. Yeah, okay, okay. To determine how the body got from the crime scene to where it was found, I had to... There's a freaking gnat in here. I have to figure out how to get from the third floor window to the gym. <laughs> All right then, I have to analyze the possible methods and find the most likely. It looks like you're really mad about what you're saying. You're just like, ugh. That was so All right, funny. so this is Psych Taxi. This is the- uh, Oh, we haven't seen this one this yet. This is the new- um, Version of the skateboarding one? Yeah. It's, it's kind of weird, but it's easy, so. Do you like it better? Yeah. When you have to deduce how things are connected, Psych Taxi will start up the uh, objective of this mode is to gather the letter cubes lying around to form the question. Use the A button to accelerate, left stick to remove left and right. By picking up letter cubes floating around, you can complete the question. Once you complete the question, you head toward the escort that has the correct answer. <laughs> if it's the right answer, they'll get in your car. If it's the wrong answer, something bad happens. You have a mosquito in here, too. <coughs> the other cars. If you hit those, you'll take damage. It's getting dangerous. You can concentrate. Please drive safely. Please so, yeah. Safely. So, yeah, you pick up escorts, which is kind of weird. That's but, really weird. Yeah. I mean, it's not as interesting as uh, the other one, but it's easier and it goes by quicker. That's good. Do they all just have the letter A in them? Well, yeah, they just kind of fill out this, the uh, question. He boy was... The, the body was brought from where? Right? Yeah. I thought the squares were just one letter. I was wrong. Are we about to pick up an escort? Thinking time. time. It's kind of like Nagito. Should we call this thinking time? See a lab window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Give me his reaction. I don't like this at all. I miss the skateboarding game. <laughs> It's okay, you have the majority opinion, so you're right, apparently. 
good. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you enjoy hitting escorts to pick them no, up? No, I don't care. This one That's is... That's even worse. They're not real. You're making me miss them. I'm not making you do shit. You're oh, I'm sorry. Should I just... The body was brought to the gym from where? <laughs> Should I just make a moral choice to not play this part and just... Yeah. Leave the game in an incomplete state. That's exactly what we I can't do. play this. My girlfriend told me not to play it anymore. Oh my gosh. I'm doing badly. I got distracted. I was doing perfectly until you started complaining. All right, all right. That's bullshit. You know it. The body was brought to the gym from Dude, where? We have to hit another escort. It's okay. They get in the car. Gym window. See, she's fine. I just don't like this. It's okay, she's just an escort, so it's fine to hit her with the car. Oh my god. It's her just... life doesn't matter. It, Obviously yeah, it, it doesn't, because no she's value. not real. She's not. There's it's no what real. She life. represents, John. Oh my god. Oh, there's other cars now. Yeah. Can you hit them? Oh, you can't hit them because their lives matter more. They'll do damage. Back to the center. Back to the center. How was it moved? Wait, does he say fast to the center? I can't really hear him. I have no idea. It's like Mario Kart. How is it moved? From the classroom window to the gym window. It was the last. Oh, it's a hidden Monokuma! Oh! I didn't even know that it was there. Can I just avoided it because it was a. Uh, I thought it was a car. Thinking time. Shall we call it thinking time? From window. From the window to, to the, the window! window. It connects. It's a shit game. Wow. I've got it. Just that one little. The almost thing. body was easy, directly though. from his lab to the gym. That makes it okay. Directly? Yeah, you're Don't right. Tell me they threw the body from window to window. We should just quit now. We should. Yeah. Bye guys. Think Bye critically. guys. Kimmy didn't like the fake escort taxi game. I didn't like how it treated women. We're gonna Are you rolling your eyes at women? <laughs> so you literally hate women, huh? <laughs> you're anti-women. That's what you're literally saying, huh? I mean, we're talking about a body. It's not like tossing a baseball, you know. No, I don't believe he was thrown, but perhaps another way. What do you mean There's another way? There's gotta be a better way. There's no other way to move it. The culprit must have used some kind of equipment. Huh? Equipment? With this equipment, they can connect the two windows and move the body to the gym. Equipment to connect the windows? I believe it was found near the body. Oh my god. The rope! There! I found it! I hope it's the Angie found or behind the gym Kikichi. stage could have been you used to connect the Kikichi. windows. Or Kaito. Oh. All three of them are annoying. Oh, there was a mysterious mystery about that rope that only Atua can reveal. What mysterious mystery? During last night's preparations for the show, that rope was in the wing of the stage. But the next morning, the rope had been moved backstage for some reason. It's a mysterious mystery. Only Atua knows the answer. So, during nighttime, someone used the rope, then threw it into the gym window? So they did use the rope. That's how they bridged the distance between both windows. Is the rope long enough to reach both windows? The rope is roughly 65 feet in length. As for the distance between the windows... According to the sign of the pool, the width of the pool is roughly 35 feet. And the distance from the edges of the pool to the windows is an additional 16 feet. 
Altogether, the sum that? total length from one window to the other the is rules. roughly oh, 50 feet. Yeah. And pool is only thing between research lab and gym windows. I knew the 35 you was bet it's long enough. <laughs> That's what she said. Wait, who said that? Oh, honey. Oh. Even if the rope was long enough, wouldn't it be pretty hard to tie them to the windows? I think it's I think it's funny because like Smoogie gets like little references to nerdy yeah. media, but then like a really common idiom like that's what she said, she's mystified by. <laughs> she's just like, who said that? What? Reminds me of some people. Both windows were Ew. too high to Not reach. you, what don't worry. It would be like tying a rope Ew. from one cliff to another. You. Let's pay attention. This is important. I am. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm distracting. If the windows were closer together, then they could toss the rope across. But they're not. But no. They're not. Going to think it would work. Just need one more rope. Another rope? There was only one, though. Mm. Oh, then it's impossible. Sorry. No, I'm sure there was another rope. Or at least something that could be used as a rope. Could it be the cable from the tennis net? Wow. What? This is it. Okay. I thought like you got it all figured out. I did. The tennis net cable from Ryoma's lab could serve as a rope. How long is it? About 50 feet or so. But how do they use it? Okay, so. First, culprit hang rope outside of one window. Then, culprit move to other side. And tie cable to other window. Then, after tying to each window, culprit tie rope and cable together. That how culprit make one rope that reach both windows. Gonta, you're so knowledgeable. It, it's nothing. Gonta use ropes a lot when looking for bugs. Even if they did connect the windows with a rope, they can't carry a body on just that. Eureka! I got it! Thomas Edison once said that genius is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. But in my case, it's 100% inspiration! You know, her voice... You get it. Just tell us already. Her voice reminds me a lot of Bart Simpson. Oh, yeah? Yeah, there's certain ways that she says things mm. where it sounds like the teenage girl version of Bart Simpson. Yeah. Who is played by a woman, They handcuff the body to the rope and slid it from one window to the other, like Tarzan! Like that. I like that. The body yeah. would reach the gym window, but it wouldn't land in the piranha tank. Stop making such dumbass comments and keep your smelly breath in your dirty mouth. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Destroy. Tarzan? Fatality. <laughs> um, but they also had to put the body in the piranha <coughs> tank after they moved it, huh? That is not feasible with just one rope. Yeah. Maybe the rope wasn't the only equipment the culprit used. Not just the rope. Well, anyway, it would have been pretty difficult to get that body in the piranha tank. They wouldn't just throw it. The trick was a super crucial part of the culprit's plan. The culprit must have carefully placed the body into the tank with their own hands. But is there really a way to do that? Kokichi, are you hinting at something? Huh? Hint? What hint? Don't confuse me with your talk of hinting hints. You're confusing me. You were definitely onto something. It's true that the culprit needed to place the body directly into the piranha tank. If the body were to fall, the culprit would not have been able to retrieve it. They would have had only one shot at it. No second chances. So obviously, the culprit would have wanted to put the body in the tank carefully. Meaning, they would have wanted to get as close to the window as possible. The problem is, how did they get near it? 
All that we know right now is that there was a rope that connected the windows. Somehow, the culprit used that to move the body and were close to the window themselves. To make that work, they had to have used something else. But what could that be? What could they have done? All right, Shuichi, the stage is finally set. What? Listen up, do a good job here, and I'll be able to put an end to this trial. It all starts with you. You be the opening act, and I'll be the main event. And then together, we're going to save everyone. Together? You got this. After all, you are my sidekick. I believe in you, so I'm going to leave the rest to you. Yeah. OK, I can do this. I will solve this mystery and show everyone the truth. The truth. This is the main event. Something was used with the rope to move the body between the windows. Think. Come on, think. Hangman Scambit 3.0. Let's see. Um. Hmm. It's like we can spell rope. Okay. What do you think? I was thinking of the inflatable tube, but nothing I can think of fits this. Rope? Ropeway? Ropeway? Yeah, I had never heard of this either. I was just curious if you had. No. I had, I had trouble with this because I was like, I never yes, heard of this word before. That's it. The culprit used something like a ropeway to move the body. A ropeway, huh? What's a ropeway? Are you sure about that? Huh? What is that? You'll, you'll find out. Yeah. yeah. Wow, you got drain damage or something? Huh. You'd need some kind of vessel to use on a ropeway, and we don't have that. No, there definitely was. The culprit used it to move the body along the rope. And scenes where you have to, oh, this is a, this is Mind Mine. Is it like Minesweeper? No, it's not. Oh. In scenes where you have to deduce an image, Mind Mine will begin. In this mode, the objective is to dig up the answer. At the beginning, the answer will be completely covered by pieces like that. Mm -hmm. Use the, um, basically move the cursor around and erase the pieces with the A button. Pieces will be erased when two or more of the same color connect. The adjacent pieces will change color. Oh, that's cool. From white to pink to yellow back to white. Oh, I would love this kind of game. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. Do you have to clear the board? Yeah. Well, no, no. Just you have to dig up one image that's the correct thing. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm bad at this. I just basically brute force it. Because I get impatient. I understand. Because I, I want to sit here and like, huh. You know, I, I want to like get to the next part. So, basically it's like... Let's see. So this looks like some sort of stool over here. Is it upside down? Hmm? Is the picture upside down? Yeah, yeah, sometimes they do that. We gotta find... Look at that yellow. That looks like a... Oh yeah, I know. I usually just go for the biggest ones. Yeah. This is the, uh, this is the inner tube right here. Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, silver. Yellow. Hmm. Now, you don't have to, like, if, if there's, um... Let's see. Yeah. If there's just one, you can brute force it like that. So I usually just do that. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, look at all that yellow up there. I know, right? There yeah. we go. So ladder, I see it. chair, inner tube. Chair? Huh? It's the inner tube. The rubber inner tube we found floating in the pool. Only one of them counts. Oh. It's, just, it's the one that we uncovered just now. I thought it was 
creating one picture that we had to be like, no. this is yeah, what it is. It, there were three different objects, and we had to uncover and select the one that gotcha. is correct. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. The inner tube? Remember the inner tube we found in the pool with a rope on one side? Maybe the rope was originally kind tied of. on both sides. The culprit made a ropeway by hanging the tube from the rope connecting the windows. And because the third floor window is higher up, gravity would have pushed the inner tube along. The inner tube is made of sturdy rubber as well. It could have supported two people. The culprit used the ropes and the inner tube to construct a rudimentary ropeway rudimentary and used rope it to way. move themselves and Ryoma's body from the lab to the gym. Once through the gym window, the culprit stood on the inner tube to move the body. Either that, or the culprit placed their foot on the windowsill. That way would be more stable and let them handle the corpse more carefully. Finally, they removed the rope from the window frame and left the scene. Well, when you put it like that, it certainly sounds possible. But wow, a ropeway! Wow. You see the culprit place their foot on the windowsill. Isn't that against school rules? It would count as entering the gym, would it not? Last time we got asked that question, we decided it was okay. Sticking your body through the window is an automatic out, but standing on the sill is... Wait, who asked you last time? Eh? It is quite possible that the culprit went to you to confirm the details of their plan. They can't tell you. Oh, shit! Way to put your foot in your mouth. His foot? Manosuke just unhinged his jaw and swallowed his entire leg! Cut it out! I can't write this off as a joke if you two keep freaking out about it! <laughs> then your little slip up is actually the truth! P Pops? Uh oh! Daddy's mad at you now! Yeah. Don't look at me! This is what you get for acting like a big shot all the time! Stop! Do not believe Monosuke! Huh? No more blaming each other! Everybody makes mistakes! I want us all to get along! Monodum's right! Monosuke, you better thank Monodum! Less attitude and more gratitude! Got it? Man, the trial was just getting fun. Why you gotta ruin it with that slip-up? But I guess now we know Shuichi's logic is right on the money. So Culvert really used Ropeway to move body? Yeah, they used the Ropeway to move with the body from window to window. Ropeway murder? That's some crazy ass shit! But if the mechanism was that complicated, wouldn't it be hard to put it all away? Not necessarily. All one must do is detach the rope from the window after using the ropeway. Then, after returning to Yoma's lab, one could retrieve the rope from that side. Tossing the rope into the gym from the pool window would be the final step. I see, I see! The rope was thrown from the window! That's why we found it there! With that method, the culprit must have made numerous trips from Ryoma's lab to the pool. Which is why the crime was committed during nighttime, while we all slumbered. But if the culprit was so careful to recover the rope they used to commit the crime, why did they leave the inner tube in the pool? Because they couldn't get I to it. I believe that was an accident. An accident? Yes. 
when the culprit was taking down the inner tube, they accidentally dropped it. Then why did the culprit leave it in the pool? The reason the culprit left it in the pool is obvious. It was nighttime. That's it. They didn't notice it. That was one of the Even options. Even if they wanted yeah. to get it, they couldn't, because this took place at nighttime. I see. They couldn't get the inner tube because swimming is prohibited at nighttime. But couldn't they have used the rope to fish it out? Not necessarily. You see, the water level in that pool is so low. Even if one tried to draw in the inner tube using the rope, The steep angle the rope would be at would make it nigh impossible. I'm so glad we have so many visual aids in this game. Mm-hmm. It'd be different if they used a pole, but there's no way a rope would work. It would make it really hard. Yeah. Like, they didn't need them in, like, the first game because the murders were so simple. Mm -hmm. But they're a lot more elaborate in this one. Yeah. Even if inner tube was closer to pool edge, water's still too low to drag tube in. I can see. Sorry. Yeah, it would take too long. And they would have been busted if someone saw them. Ha! Huh? What kind of clumsy dipshit drops an inner tube and can't retrieve it? Let me tell you, this culprit's a real fucking amateur. No, actually. Save for that one mistake. This was the perfect crime. If Maki had never met up with Ryoma at nighttime, it might have been the end for us. Oh, I still don't know if Maki is telling the truth or not. Shut up. He is obsessed. Personally, I find this culprit frighteningly thorough. Such a bold, beautiful plan. I never even imagined there was a ropeway. Oh, respect begins to bloom in my heart for this wonderfully cruel culprit. At least now we'll know what a ropeway is. Yeah. What are you, stupid? Don't respect the culprit. No, respecting the culprit's intelligence is crucial in solving this case. We're so close. We're just one step away from the truth. Now, we just need to figure out who the culprit is. But of course, it would be pointless to unravel this mystery otherwise. So, who is it? Hmm, looks like it's time for me to start the main event. But my sidekick here is on a roll right now, so I'll let him take this one. Hmm? Ah, okay. You're just pushing everything onto Shuichi because you don't know yourself. Well, Shuichi, do you already know who the culprit is? Yes, I have a good idea of who the culprit is. Hey, Shuichi, are you hesitating again? What? Come on, man, there's no need for that. Like I said, you're my sidekick. I take responsibility for any mistakes my sidekick makes. So use those skills of yours I believe in to shove the truth down their throats. You believe in my detective skills? That's right. I'm going to leave it all to you, Shuichi. Yeah, I need to believe in my detective work. This whole setup would have had to been prepared in the gym well beforehand. Knowing that narrows down the list of suspects. So we gotta pick one. Kaito. Kaito? Why Kaito? Because he is smart. He is an astronaut in training, which you have to be really fucking smart to do that. Uh, he wouldn't be afraid of heights. He would know how to do all of that, like, like make the ropeway and you know, do all of that mm. and how important it is to not go into the room and but still drop the body into the tank. He doesn't have good alibis. We have like 20 was. seconds. Oh, yeah, okay, so. Do you want, okay. It wasn't Kaito, but I remember someone mentioning they went to the gym. Was it Kurumi? What's the matter? Just show them the logic you believe in. I was wrong! 
How is it not Kaito? I was so short. Is it Karumi? Because hmm. she mentioned going to the gym. It has to be you! There's one more thing I still have to confirm. But Kirumi is the prime suspect. Me? What? K Kirumi? Oh. So Kirumi is the culprit! That is not yet a certainty. Let us hear her testimony first. Is this true, Kirumi? I cannot believe you would suspect me. If that is the case, then I will have to deny it. I will not let you make the wrong choice. The wrong choice? If you do believe it is me, are you prepared to stand by that decision? I will refute your accusations with all my might, for everyone's sake. Hmm. Interesting. I, of course, am not the culprit. for, uh... The crime was committed at night time. And you have no alibi, do you? An alibi for night time? I believe most of us do not have one. I have evidence that proves you're the culprit. <laughs> do you think we would fall for such nonsense? The trick relied on complex mechanisms to work. But someone like you could be skilled enough to pull it off. Preposterous. That could have been done by anyone. Mm. Kirumi is thin and has a nice body. <laughs> she and Ryoma could have totally shared an inner tube. We all could have, except perhaps Gonta. To force Kirumi to implicate herself, my logic has to be airtight. There's a hole in her story somewhere. I guess I have to stay calm and find it. I of or course am not the we could just lie. No, the let's crime try was find committed it. at I wanna lie. We've lied twice already. I wanna <laughs> lie again. Oh my god, Dude. lie. An alibi for nighttime? I wanna lie. I believe most people. <laughs> I'll reveal the truth. I lied. <laughs> Maybe God. we can't prove everyone's alibi, but we can still pinpoint the culprit. How so? Last night, Kaido and I heard Maki speaking with Ryoma. But I haven't mentioned what happened after. Kirumi, any thoughts? Did you return to your respective dorm rooms? Yes, we did. But I couldn't fall asleep, so I was awake until morning, which allowed me to hear a certain sound in the night. Uh, a certain sound? Last night, I heard the sound of someone leaving their room and exiting the door. And after some time, I heard the sound of them returning. Could it a great liar? The culprit? <laughs> But all you heard was a sound? That doesn't mean you know who made it. Indeed, it doesn't. But I didn't hear the sound of someone going down the stairs. Which must mean that whoever left has a room on the first floor. No one on the second floor left the dorm that night. So everyone on the second floor has an alibi? You cannot determine the culprit with just that. On the contrary, once we rule out the second floor, we know who the culprit is. Because preparing the ropeway required time to be spent in the gym. It's extremely likely that the culprit helped set up the magic show. In short, Himiko, Angie, Kaito, or Hirumi. I see. So among the four, the only one with a room on the first floor of the dorms is... Yes, only Kirumi. This is an elaborate lie. Yeah, it is. It wasn't very elegant, but my lie was certainly plausible. Will they buy it? Hmm, you heard a sound, huh? Well, I hear a load of BS. <laughs> but unfortunately for you, Kirumi, your time's up. We already know you're the only one capable of setting all this up. Right, Shuichi? Well, that was an unexpected assist. Right. The only person who could have prepared this murder is Kirumi. Well, the preparations in the gym in any case. And why do you believe that? 
Before the culprit could put the body into the tank, several steps needed to be taken. Like tying the rope to the gym window and putting a partition in the piranha tank. That's right. Ryoma's body entered the gym from the window, but that required preparation. That could only have been done when Kirumi was by herself in the gym before nighttime. But Kirumi was alone in the gym for only, like, five minutes. Not enough time for the whole murder, but enough time to set it up. Enough time to tie the rope on the window frame and put the pain in the piranha tank. This is my selfless devotion! Fight her! While I do understand where you are coming from, I assure you this is just a part of your petty imagination. An empty theory created from nihilism. Whoa. Wow, she's getting kind of intense. She is. Let's see. If it were solely the rope and partition, I suppose five minutes might be enough time. I accept that, however, the crux of your argument is not but a guess. You continue to force the facts to conform to your misguided oh. narrative. When you consider that the crux of your argument is faulty, your entire case falls apart. What do you mean by crux of the argument? How is it just a guess? I am referring to the rope. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from the third floor window, but there is no evidence to indicate this had happened. In other words, it is just oh. a guess, and then you add assumptions and hearsay to that guess. It is nothing more than deception. I'm guessing it's marked window frame? I think so. Yeah. I have evidence. I am referring to the rope. Yeah. Now, with that rope, it is possible to reach the gym window from She's the third floor window, the but there rope. is no evidence to indicate this had happened. What's that one? Oh, yeah. cut through your words. Yeah, yeah. Oh, cut through your words. <laughs> I have happy. The abrasions left on the yeah. window frames at the gym and the lab. I'm sad that it's Were those scratches Karumi. from when the rope was tied to the window frame? What? I'm sad that it's Karumi. Just Karumi. tying the rope to the frame wouldn't cause so much damage. The rope that was tied to the frames must have been weighed down significantly. The frames didn't break, but they were left with distinct marks. Those scratches are proof that you used a rope to carry the body to the windowsill. Oh? What's wrong, Kirumi? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Hey, what's wrong? Hey, 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 hey! Is Kirumi quiet because cause that's what happened? Please answer us, Kirumi. Shuichi is doing this for your sake. If it is for my sake, then it would be much easier to forfeit. But I cannot allow that, because I must do this for everyone. For everyone? I have a duty and a responsibility. I must serve everyone and protect them. So I refuse to surrender. They won't forgive me if I do. What? Where is this coming from? Yeah. Her response seems genuine. What does she mean by everyone? Is she doing this for all our sakes? Am, am I wrong? Is Kirumi innocent? No, I, I'm wrong again. Hey, Kirumi. Who exactly is this everyone you're talking about? Kaito? I've just got a weird feeling about this. When you said everyone, it felt like you weren't talking about us. It felt like you were talking about someone who isn't here. Hmm. Someone who isn't here? Someone outside of the academy? Hey. Do you think Kirumi saw her own motive video? Huh? Is that why the it took them so video? long? They play tag. You saw your important someone in danger, so you committed murder, right? Is that true? I am so sorry for making such a mess. Damn it. 
because of that, I made all of you assume something unnecessary. Unnecessary? You saying I'm wrong? This everyone you're talking about. It is all of you, of course. Really? Do you swear, Tua Tua? Yes, really. So please believe me. I am not the culprit. I do not care what becomes of me, but I will not allow any of you to die. Because I made a promise to Kaede. She wished for all of us to escape together. I want to fulfill my duties as the ultimate maid. I wish to serve everyone. So please believe me. You have to! Kirumi... Um... Are we totally sure Kirumi's the culprit? Maybe it's someone else! Are we sure Kokichi isn't the culprit? <laughs> How rude. Gota just can't believe Kirumi would kill Ryuma. Kirumi's breakfasts were the best. She always treated us so well. She really is like a mom. Perhaps it was after she gained our trust that she saw her chance to strike. You really are screwed up. Screwed up from head to toe. Even through your clothes, I can tell. Shuichi, please reconsider suspecting me as the culprit. You only suspect me because I was at the gym during nighttime yesterday, correct? But you cannot accuse me of being the culprit with that insufficient proof. It is still possible for Maki and Kaito to have gone to the gym. They do not have alibis. They could have pretended to help Himiko, but secretly prepared the murder. Like I did. put it that way, it does seem possible. We can't accuse Kirumi just based on our alibis. Guys, maybe suspecting Kirumi is wrong. Yeah, maybe we should think it over one more time. I made a promise. As the ultimate detective, I made a promise to seek the truth. I made a promise to Kaede. So I'm not turning back now. They're scared. They're scared that they have to accuse one of their friends of murder. So it's up to me. I have to do it. I'll use my detective work to prove it. So you still believe I am the culprit? Mm -hmm. But there is no evidence to indicate that I am- No, there is. I have proof that you're the culprit. I realized it when we determined that the ropeway was used to move the body. If it was indeed Kirumi who moved the body with the makeshift ropeway, then the final clue falls into place. The final clue? The damning evidence that proves Kirumi is the culprit. Shuichi, won't you please tell me why you are so desperate to pin me as the culprit? Don't you want to protect everyone? It's the black cloth. I'm doing it? this because I want to protect everyone. Shuichi. Then you're wrong. Your deduction is all wrong. Your words aren't going to convince me now. Not when I know the truth. All you care about is your own reasoning. You don't even listen to others. I can't bet everyone's lives on a deduction made by a self-righteous brat. You can't save anyone! Oh. No more doubts. I'm confident I'm right. She's getting desperate. I'm gonna present everyone with the evidence that proves she's guilty. Comic book time! Uh. Oh, I mean... But yeah, it is the black piece of fabric. This fabric. is it! Fabric. Which I thought that this was just Ryoma's. The piece of black fabric in the pool. That's the final clue that proves you're guilty. It's been bothering me for a while. I couldn't figure out what it was. I thought it was just trash at first, but I couldn't dismiss it entirely. Now that the class trial has come this far, I know for certain. It it's an like important leaf. piece of the puzzle. Because like the inner two, it's evidence the culprit couldn't dispose of. Huh? Why not? 
Using the ropeway, you could slide the inner tube from the lab to the gym. But how would you control it? If it kept sliding and hit the window, the momentum would have thrown the body off. To prevent that from happening, the culprit needed some way to adjust the speed. For example, the culprit could have used their hands for friction. That would be horrible. Yeah, so what? You're still wrong! Your logic is flawed! Kirumi, why are you becoming increasingly erratic? <laughs> there is such absolute beauty in trying to fight against the truth. What truth? That black cloth is just trash! You can't prove I'm the culprit with just that! No, it's not just trash. It's proof that you're the culprit. Finding out how that black fabric fits into this is the key to everything. I'll make it all clear now. Comic book? No. Oh, this. You are incorrect. Oh my god. What is this truth? That is just your empty deduction. You continue to confuse everyone. You are incorrect. What is this truth? In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake. Because of your self-righteous truth, Everyone oh. might die! In this class trial, everyone's life is at stake! Because of your self-righteous truth, everyone might die! <laughs> I completely understand your reasoning, but I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. Ah. You are Ooh, only providing us with speculation. You only wish to protect everyone. Why must you interfere? I completely understand your reason. Oh, but I will never accept it. It seems you wish to pin me as the culprit. You do not have any evidence. You are only providing us with speculation. Final blow. What does that piece of trash prove? It ends here. Kirumi's gloves. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the piece of fabric came from Kirumi's black glove. That was for nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? Ah! <laughs> her armor's no. all gone. Uh huh. Okay. Just expose her boobs. Okay, well, it doesn't always happen to girls. Mm-hmm. Kirumi's glove? If the culprit were slowing their descent by grabbing the rope with their hands, there would have been a lot of friction, easily enough to cause rope burn. But our culprit was smart. They weren't burned because they weren't barehanded. Yeah, the culprit had gloves on. One got all torn up from the friction and... And it fell into pool? From what I remember, the only one who wears black gloves is Kirumi, right? The gloves on your hands now. I take it they're from your dorm? The extra uniforms in our rooms are made of the same material we're wearing now. You can test my theory by comparing the fabric scrap with your glove. Well, Kirumi, will you allow us to compare the black fabric we found in the pool with your gloves? <laughs> Miu Miu Mi huh? kind of wears What's gloves. What's the matter? Why are you sweating so much? Hmm? Miu kind of wears gloves. Mm. Kirumi, what's wrong? Well, they're not black. They look black. Well, okay, but they're not the same black. Okay. <laughs> In the end, I'm just like them. I'm scared of revealing the truth. Because it means that someone has to be sacrificed. But Kaede was scared too. She didn't let that stop her. 
She thought things through to the end. I faced the truth and doubted it and kept thinking and kept going. This is where it led me and I won't turn away from it. Yeah. I will show you the truth. Okay, now we got the closing argument. Closing. I know, right? All right. Um, I'm trying to remember like, uh... okay, we got piranhas swarming the tank. Rubber inner tube, friction on the glove, carried the rope, handcuffed victim. Okay, let's see. The evidence made of metal, the piranhas didn't eat. The handcuffs. Hmm. No. Is there one of just the handcuffs? Uh, maybe, but we haven't unlocked it yet. Okay. Okay, what was used as a partition in the prawn tank? That was the, the glass. glass, which isn't in there. Um, the thin and long item the culprit took from the gym. The rope? Okay, that one was right. We unlocked gym's window frame and rope. Okay. Where in the gym was the rope tied? Well, it's that one, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Before the murder, what was put on the victim's wrist? Well, right? Yeah. What was taken from the pool? Metal handcuffs in the water. We can go back and just do that one then. Yeah. Let's see. Right? Yeah. yeah. And then okay. this other one. What was used as a partition? This is uh. We have that now. Yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, so we've done. So we've done everything so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we've done all these. Okay. What was used to transport the body on the ropeway? The inner tube. Uh. Let's see, okay. Hitting the brakes was tougher than expected. That's this. Okay, and then this is hang to inner tube, and that's this one. And then finally. Yeah. There we go, we got it. You this did is on. the truth of the case. You basically did it. Dang it, Ramba. We all the victim's know that's not body true. was found this morning I like this during whole time. Himiko's underwater escape. Do you like that it's called Act Five now? It's like continued from the last closing argument. Yeah, that's cool. It's like we're making a manga. When we saw the piranhas in the tank, we thought that Himiko's escape failed. Of course, it was all part of the act. Himiko's escape went perfectly. She's an illusionist. But when Angie opened the curtain in front of the tank, we saw Ryoma with piranha swarming around him. Before any of us could react, the piranhas devoured Ryoma's body. Drinking the water thick as blood. And all that was left were his bones and the handcuffs he was wearing. That horrifying sight was the finishing touch on the culprit's own twisted magic trick. Look at how fast they're vibrating. I know. The culprit obfuscated the time and place of the murder, implicating obfuscated. Himiko in the process. Great word. In truth, the crime began last night around 8.55 p.m. While preparing for the show in the gym, the culprit had a chance to be alone. It was then that the culprit used the ladder to reach the piranha tank and removed the glass lid to put inside the tank. They used it as a partition to force the piranhas to one side of the tank. The 
This is a smart mur murder. Murder. Next, the culprit took the rope from the stage wing in the gym. Honestly, like how thorough and calculated it is is the best evidence against Kirumi. Yeah. At the time, I was like, whatever. The black piece of fabric, that's and it. Use the but ladder once more. Looking this back. To climb up to the gym's window. It makes sense with her personality. Once there, they opened the window and tied one end of the rope to the window frame. Ugh, my eyes are so dry. The Keep rope blinking. was then thrown out the window toward the pool. These preparations were key for the culprit's elaborate plan. I love the evil smile. I know, they make, they make her look so evil here. Well, she's not at not evil. At night time, past midnight, the culprit asked Ryoma to meet at his lab. All the pieces were in place. The culprit was ready to murder. First, the culprit knocked Ryoma out probably striking him from behind. Then, they put the handcuffs from the shower room on Ryoma's wrists. And shoved his head into the sink filled with water. Whew, that's rough. Oh, Ryoma, you didn't deserve to go this way. Mm. From the water and the pain of drowning, Ryoma should have woken up and struggled. The culprit anticipated his resistance, which is why Ryoma was handcuffed. The struggle left scrapes on the cuffs and sink, but in the end, Ryoma succumbed. Ryoma was dead, but the culprit's plan had only just begun. They removed the cable from the tennis net and hung it from the window facing the pool. And then, at the pool, they connected the wire and the rope from the gym window. They returned to the lab after picking up one last thing. The rubber inner tube that was in the pool's tool shed. Once back in the lab, the culprit pulled the cable, bringing up the rope. They pulled until the rope was taut, then tied it to the lab's window frame. And thus, the gym and the lab windows were connected by a single rope. Nice, so After making dry. a hanger of sorts Sorry. with another length no, of no, rope tied really to weird. the inner tube, Do you want to take a break and... they yeah. hung the inner tube on the rope connecting the windows. That's how the culprit created the ropeway that was used to move the body. An impressive premeditated murder, but the culprit made two crucial mistakes. The culprit got on the inner tube with Ryoma's body and slid toward the gym. Kick! With the height difference between the windows, they would have built up quite some speed. I like the big To kick. avoid crashing through the window, the culprit like used the... a brake. They used their own hand to grip the rope and slow down. Ouch. That would have caused significant rope burn had the culprit not been wearing gloves. But due to the friction, Part of a glove tore off and dropped in the pool.
Regardless, the culprit reached the window and put Ryoma's body into the piranha tank. The glass pane not only kept the piranhas and the body separated, it also kept the piranhas so close together, they concealed the body. After that, all the culprit had to do was untie the rope and the inner tube. But that's when they made their second mistake. One end of the rope came loose, and the inner tube dropped into the pool. Thus, the culprit was forced to leave two key pieces of evidence, the fabric and the inner tube. They couldn't retrieve the evidence because of the rule against swimming at nighttime. And that's the whole story. Am I wrong, Kirumi Tojo? The ultimate maid? I wish. I like her. Uh. <laughs> Give me mad. That's the conclusion I reached. Do you have any objections? This is very, very unfortunate, Shuichi. My pride as a maid demands that I fulfill every request that I receive. Oh, here we go. But to end like this. Does that mean you admit it? Kirumi. Why use your own gloves, though? The warehouse should have had plenty. There weren't any. Obviously, she would have used them if they were available. Jeez, Monokuma provided everything but the gloves. That's pretty sadistic. But thanks to him, at least the game became way more interesting. So, it's decided. This case was decided the moment someone, who shall not be named, opened their big mouth. But we, we don't know that. Maybe the real culprit is someone nobody expects. That is right. No need to worry. <laughs> oh, Monotem, you're like a mommy taking care of her sick child. All right, let's go! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless Finally, face off! It's voting time! It's voting time, Ursine! Uh. Yeah. Oh, not Kurumi. There she is. We gotta do it. We gotta vote for her. No! Hey, wait. I wish it was Cookie. Let's vote for Ryoma. Yeah. Okay. He did all that himself. Please wait. Processing. Announcement. Now then, it seems the voting has finished. Let's see the result. Better her, I would just not vote. There was one vote for Shuichi. It has to be her, right? Yeah, I guess so. Who'll be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadful? We already decided, wrong Monokuma. One. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you already saw the verdict. Oh, Karumi. Trial's not over yet, though. Like, it's over, but there are some uh, twists and turns coming. Uh oh. Spoiler alert. It's not a spoiler. She hasn't talked at all about why she killed Ryoma. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see why she did. Back route 01 and 13. What does that mean? Is that that you lied that one time? I lied twice. I lied three times, actually. Oh, that's true. I don't know what that means. Huh. Huh. I'll have to look that up later. Oh, look, back route. There, it says it right there. Oh, oh, it's, it's the scenario. So I we had two scenes that were back route only. Yeah. That's cool. Because you lied, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun. 
Kurumi, why? You all voted correctly! What an unexpected and unpredictable outcome. The Blackened, who killed Ryoma Hoshi, is Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Ah! Bravo, bravo, bravo! Thank goodness. Phew. Thank goodness we managed to get through the class trial again. You gotta be kidding me! There's nothing good about this at all! <sighs> Why? Why did it have to be Kurumi? Yeah. Truly, this result was unexpected. Wait! How can you be so calm about it? No way. But Gonta no can believe it. Kirumi was so helpful for everyone. <laughs> Same Kirumi is also culprit? Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey! How long have you been lying to us? The truth is, is that why you took such good care of us? So you could deceive everyone? Huh? You mean she's not my mom? She was never your fucking mom. Damn it. Hey, Kirumi, tell me, why? You're always thinking about everyone around you. How could you kill someone? <laughs> Human beings have always been selfish, self-centered creatures. <laughs> That's why I hate humans. They burn down the forest we call home. They pollute the rivers we drink from. I'll never forgive humans! Oh my. No way! But is that really a reason to destroy them? Some humans are really nice. Shut up! Shut up, shut up! Enough with the commentary already! Say. Well, Kirumi, were your feelings towards us simply another falsehood? How? No, it can't be. Say it ain't so. That was just another lie too? No. I don't think so. I still believe Kirumi cares about us. What? And how would you know that? Hmm. How'd you know? I can't say for certain, but I can sense that this trial has been agonizing for her. You can't say for certain, hmm? That is what a detective would say. Um, Kirumi, are you upset? Because of the people important to you? from the motive video? So Kirumi watched hers after all? Um... Earlier, Kirumi mentioned that she had accepted a request. Perhaps that request came from an... Um, an... Um, unsomewhat important? Perhaps that request came from an important someone in her motive video. What's wrong? Do you have nothing to say for yourself? I do not agree. No, that is not it. That's not it. I'm just lost. Because if I tell you why I did it, you'll regret. You'll regret what you've just done. You'll regret. You'll regret what you've you'll just done. You'll regret it. She now has a lisp. Regret. Damn. <laughs> Spit it out already. Otherwise, we can't accept this outcome. Please, Kurumi, tell us. I care about you a lot, and I know the others care about you too. So please! Understood. Very well then. If you are all so desperate to know. The fan's been off this whole time. Oh my god, it's gonna be amazing. I shall take that request. I will consider this a final request and tell you everything. Well, you know. No more lies then. You better just tell us the truth. Please and thank you. Feels I, so good. I know. I, I thought the fan was on the whole time, but I don't it wasn't. I know how you're surviving in that shirt. <laughs> yes. Yes, I understand. That is correct. Your reasoning was exactly right. The reason I murdered Ryoma was because of what I saw in my motive video. Hmm. Mm, as I thought, you did indeed watch your video. Um. Does that mean someone broke the agreement and traded you your motive video? Hmm. All right, fess up. Which one of you did it? Close your eyes and raise your hand if it was you. What are you saying? Why would the one raising their hand need to close their eyes? 
May I? That won't be necessary. I did not trade my Motu video with anyone. Hmm? Hmm? If you didn't trade with anyone, how'd you see your motive video? Hey! Perhaps Kirumi received her own motive video. Huh? You mean she had her own motive video from the start? Yes, correct. No one had my motive video but me, the video's intended reci recipient. I have no idea why. The fuck's going on? That's not possible! Monokuma, what the hell's going on? Huh? Hmm? You know, I meant to bring this up earlier because it's been bugging me for a while. All this talk about videos being switched. What does that mean exactly? Uh, don't play dumb. You're the one who switched up all the motive videos. No, no. No, I didn't. Uh huh? Huh? Was I not supposed to ask that? Did you come screw up again, hmm? Huh? Not supposed to. Dumbass! It's all Monofini's fault. She passed him out while without checking the names. <laughs> what? I didn't know. Monotaro should have checked the names too. Wait a minute. I don't even remember passing out any videos. Um, it was my fault. Yeah? What? I'm sorry. I apologize. I should have been more careful. No, Monodem, it's not your fault. Okay. It's all your fault. Our oh, fault. it's all our fault. I'm sorry too. Yeah? Ah, it seems I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. I completely forgot that the plan all along was to redistribute the videos. Daddy. Hey. It's not your fault at all, kids. It's my fault for forgetting. Father! Hey. Thank goodness. What? What the hell is this mushy feel-good crap? You stupid. You're all idiots. I'm through getting along with you dummy bears. Dummy bears, not gummy bears. Yeah. Get it? Well, now. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Please continue your boring conversation. I see. The Mono Cubs merely distributed the mo Mojo videos at random. Receiving my own video was nothing more than bad luck. Oh, I see. So you just wanted. So you just watched it without knowing why it was given to you? Hey! What was in your video? What's wrong? Well, you promised to tell us everything. Yes, I will tell you the truth in its entirety, but. I doubt that everyone will believe it. So... If that's the case, why don't we all watch the motive video together? That's right! Yes, that would be much better! Let's hurry before Daddy gets bored again! How thorough of you. Yet, I suppose it is better this way. Perhaps the truth will be easier to believe if you witness it with your own eyes. After Kirumi had spoken, the Monocubs began playing the video. So here we go. All right, back by popular demand, it's time for the motive video. Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado, Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. With clients in politics and finance, this elite maid is renowned for completing any request. One fateful day, she was suddenly summoned by one of her most influential clients, the Prime Minister. The Prime Minister had a request of utmost importance. He requested that she use her talent as the ultimate maid to serve her country. He asked Kirumi to make this country great again and transferred all his authority to her. No one suspected that the Prime Minister's new secretary was secretly running the country. And over time, she became the de facto Prime Minister. Only Kirumi could save the country from impending doom. Yes, the future of the country rests entirely on her capable shoulders. 
But Kirumi is up to the task for she only accepts requests that only she can fulfill. She is driven by the belief that her citizens are the most important people in her life. Oh, and while we're on the subject of those important people, an unfortunate event will soon befall those vermin and sheeple. What event, you ask? It's a secret. Find out for yourself. <laughs> We huh? just killed the country. It can't be. Wh what the hell? The prime minister? Yes, everything you just saw is true. Though I only remembered it upon watching that video. Remembered? Wait, please hold on. That video is true? What is this? That's ridiculous. There's no way Kurumi's really the prime minister. I do not agree. No, it's the truth. I am Kurumi Tojo, the ultimate maid, and the most important people to me. This is my selfless devotion. Are the citizens of this country. I was called upon to lift the country out of a dire situation. I swore to serve and help all its citizens. As the ultimate maid, I have advised politicians many times in the past. But he wanted me to prioritize saving the country from an unprecedented crisis. I fully accepted this request. As a maid, it is a great honor to serve the nation itself. What did I do? You're literally confusing the shit out of me. Cause this makes no sense and I gotta take a dump. I see, I see. So Kirumi was the real prime minister running the country behind the scenes. Huh? How can you seriously believe that a high schooler could be prime minister? You really don't get it. I don't think it's odd that an ultimate level talent could be that powerful. I mean, Keyboy's talent lets him pretend to be human, even though he's a heartless robot. How rude. I am not pretending. I'm still learning. I see. Uh-huh. I see. Well, good luck, I guess. Incredible. I was aware of Kirumi's impressive talents, but Prime Minister. But then Kirumi really is Prime Minister? She hold burden of country's future? Actually, not anymore. The Moda video aside, Kirumi doesn't seem like she'd lie about something like that. Yoo-hoo! Hey, hey! I get that Kurumi is really important, but what was that? What was that unprecedented crisis? I do not know. I, I don't know actually. Why can't I remember? Uh, um. With our memories lost, that's wait. Isn't this just like the ultimate hunt? That is correct. Perhaps it is connected to the ultimate hunt. Huh? The ultimate hunt is connected to this unprecedented crisis facing the nation. Um... If that's true, how are they connected? What is this ultimate hunt anyway? I do not know. What is happening to the nation while I am here, inside the end wall? That is why I needed to know. I needed to know that the most important people in my life were safe. This is my selfless devotion. Because I am duty and honor bound to protect every citizen of this nation. My apologies. That is why I needed to escape. If so, so you weighed our lives against the lives of everyone else in the nation. But if those are the options, of course, you'd pick everyone outside, right? There's just too many lives at stake out there. And we stopped Kirumi from doing that because we selfishly wanted to live. I don't like that. What should we do? Did we just make a terrible mistake? If everyone outside dies because Kirumi is dead... Why? Doesn't that mean we pretty much destroyed the country? What, should, what do we do? Wait! So say... What's Monokuma planning to do with the rest of humanity? 
You know how many people live in this country. Like a hundred million easily. Always messing around. No matter how powerful the mastermind is, there's no way they could really... Bears do not lie. Bears do not lie. Hey, um... I am the ruler of this world. Nothing is beyond my power. Hey, um... I'm the ruler of this world. <laughs> Nothing is beyond your power. What kind of arrogant, ridiculous... 100%. That is 100% a lie. It is impossible that he could bring disaster to a country. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to pull? What's so funny? Cuz! You guys act like you can't believe it. But you're all terrified anyway. Shing. If you can't believe it, then you're terrified for no reason. <laughs> Why do humans lie? Why are humans in the only animal that tells lies? <laughs> Shut up! Hey, cut it out. This is serious. Oh, oh? How long are you gonna keep talking about Kirumi? Dang it! Let's talk about Ryoma. It would be a shame to completely neglect him. Oh, I see. That's right. We know you're motive to kill, but why did you kill Ryoma specifically? That is, because he was easy to kill. Huh? Easy to kill? Weird! Ryoma not that weak. When he used his Shikuchi method, even Gota no could catch. I do not agree. His physical strength was irre irrelevant when he did not have a reason to live. Do you agree? Without that, he became the weakest among us. Huh? What? I took advantage of his weakness and killed him. Um... What do you mean? That is... I told him I had urgent matters to discuss and to meet me in the research lab on the third floor. There, I revealed my motive video, and afterward I told him... That is correct. I am responsible for the life of every citizen of this nation, so I must escape this place. He then responded... Got it. So, you got a reason to survive. That's the complete opposite of me. Hm. <laughs> That's good. Your... If you got something to live for, it means your life has value. After he said that, he told me he would clean up the tennis balls lying around. And then, he turned his back toward me. At that moment, my determination solidified. A person like him would have noticed my bloodthirst emanating. He already knew. He forfeited his life right then and there. That is correct. That is when I decided I must sacrifice his life for my nation and my people. Then, then Ryoma knew he was going to be killed. But, wait a minute. It's Maki's fault that Ryoma decided he didn't want to live anymore. What? Because? Ryoma only gave up on life after you showed him his motive video. Well, since you didn't watch his motive video, I guess you had no way of knowing. What are you talking about? What's your point? Wait! Wait a minute. You're talking as if Ryoma saw that motive video. Didn't you just say that he only checked the name and didn't watch the video? Mm hmm? Huh? Did I say that? Huh? What are you getting at? Well, you know... I probably shouldn't say anything, but... Someone has to step up and speak for poor Ryoma. I told you. Again, what's your point? That he gave up on life because I showed him his motive video? Um... I'll get to that in a sec, but... Why do you think Ryoma wanted to see his motive video? Because he was looking for a reason to live. Isn't that right, Maki? Why? How do you know that? What? Swap motive videos? Didn't we agree not to show them to each other? Yeah, I remember. Because once you watch him, you got a motive to kill. But if it shows someone important to me, I'd really like to see that. Hey, any idea who will be? 
in the video? <laughs> no. Sorry. Somebody's tired. I am. I don't. That's why I want to see it. <laughs> Once I know I've got someone important to me, I'll have a reason to live. Jeez. If I've got a reason to live, then I've got a reason to escape here with you guys. In other words, that video might just give me a motive to live. Please. So please. That's true. You're right. He was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. Which means you shouldn't have shown him his motive video in the first place. Hey! What do you mean? What What did his video show? Ah. Nothing. His motive was empty. Huh? Well, that's sad. Empty? Okie dokie! Oh, we're up next! Let's give it a watch, shall we? By popular demand, it's time for the motive video! Who's the most important person in your life? And now, without further ado... This message is for Ryoma Hoshi, the ultimate tennis pro! Unfortunately, there is no one in the world who is important to you. I'm so sorry. Really, I am. You have my deepest sympathies. Sorry. 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 <sighs> Sorry. No one. No one was important to him? Always messing around. That's what he was shown? If he saw something like that... Hmm. He had none to care for, and none who cared for him. He found no motive to live. Because of that, he chose to let Kirimi claim his life. I see. So, that's why. He must have just watched that video before I summoned him to m meet with me. It, it can't be! He just gave up then? Damn! To hell with that! That damn moron! But, but... It's bad to have no reason to live, but it's also bad to ha have too many reasons to live. Because that's why you did such a terrible thing, right, Kirumi? Kirumi? For too many reasons? Yes. You are free to judge me for killing Ryoma. I would bear the burden of being seen as evil for the sake of my nation and its people. For everyone. Because that is what it means to serve with selfless devotion. That's why I needed to survive. Sacrificing you all meant saving the lives of men, women, children, and elderly. My apologies. I wanted to live. Kirumi. <sighs> Monokuma. Going to have question. You need something? Oh, what is it? Hey! Could Gonta be blackened instead of Kirumi? Huh? What? Gonta... Not smart, boy. But even Gonta understand what everyone's saying. <sighs> Kirumi should live, not Gonta. World needs her. Um... I was thinking the same thing. I don't want to die, but Kirumi's life is way more valuable than mine. <laughs> She's got the lives of hundreds of millions of people on her shoulders, right? Unfortunately. Logically, Kirumi's survival would result in fewer casualties than our collective survival would. Jeez. Oh, Maybe it would have been better if we'd gotten the culprit wrong. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, man. If Kirumi survives, then the nation's future will be secure. Then... What's the point of me doing all this? Why did I reveal the truth? What have I done? Was I wrong? I shouldn't have... Shuichi! No. What kind of face is that, Shuichi? If you're my sidekick, then suck it up! Huh? What? Hey! That goes for all of you. To hell with all this value of life shit! Alright! Life's not just some thing. You can't trade it or... Put a price on it. Kaito. Listen up. And your life doesn't just belong to you. It's for your parents, your grandparents, your friends, even your neighbors. I mean, it's 
not something you can just decide to throw away on your own. Don't worry about it. So we didn't, we didn't do the wrong thing. Life's purpose is to be lived. As long as you stay alive, anything's possible. You can even go to the stars. Of course. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. I wanna live. I haven't even traveled to space yet. There's no way in hell I'm gonna die here. Jeez, the idiot's talking again. But he's right. I mean, you're right too. He is an idiot, but he's right. So divine. Yep, he's an to adapt idiot. <laughs> I don't know why, but idiots always fill me with inspiration. Shut up. Hey, shut up. I told you to stop calling me an idiot. But maybe a stupid speech is just what we needed to hear. Kirumi certainly looks shaken by it. Huh? Huh? Shaken? Because? Do you really think someone as desperate to live as Kirumi would give up so easily? Of course not. In fact, she probably still hasn't given up, even now. <laughs> she was hoping that learning the truth would make one of us volunteer to die in her place. Huh? What? But... But Monokuma would never allow a Blacken to escape punishment. So maybe... She wanted everyone to rebel, so she could use that as cover to escape on her own. <laughs> How about it, Kirumi? Am I close? You are the most detestable cretin I've ever met. Cretin? Cretin. Damn it. You knew exactly what I would attempt, yet you allowed me to explain anyway. Huh? Wait! What he just said was true? You mean... You try to trick Gonta. Try to trick everyone. Really? Seriously? You backstabbing cunt! Cut it out. Enough! She was just trying to stay alive in her own way. Nobody can blame her for that. That is correct. That's right. I must survive. Because I carry the weight of an entire nation on my shoulders. I would not have killed Ryoma if I was so easily deterred. This request will not be fulfilled until I have brought joy to every citizen of this nation. You must live. So no matter what, I cannot die. That is why I killed Ryoma. Even now, I refuse to give up. Huh? Kirumi. I see. You still refuse to give up? So, what do you intend to do? You must live. I intend to live. I must survive, no matter what it takes. If, if I must debase myself, so be it. I would drink filth and eat carrion to survive. I will survive! I will do anything, anything to survive. She screamed, and then she started running. Uh -oh. ah! I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It was a completely undignified exit. I have to escape. I won't die here. There's no way I'm letting you out of here! Ah! It was ugly and raw and feral. She just ran as fast as she could. I heard my voice call out. Uh, run! Damn it! Run! Run, Kirumi! Please run! Hurry! Run! Please hurry! Damn! Hurry! Run! Like I said, I'm not letting you leave. Please! Run! <laughs> you will live! I refuse to die in a hellhole like this! Now then, I've prepared a special punishment for Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid! For my nation! For my people! Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! I will not die! Oh, that's spooky. <laughs> oh. Here we go. That is raw and feral. Look at her run. <laughs> Monica was <laughs> running after her. 
She's not getting dragged. That's funny. Oh, it's her people. George. <laughs> <laughs> Monosuke died too. No. Not Monosuke. Mono damage is just a little ex ex executioner, isn't he? Really? Why Monodem? Wait, what? Why Monodem? Why'd you kill Monosuke? Well, it's okay. If you need to vomit, let it out. You will feel much better afterward. Monosuke. He was no different from Mono Kid. He was getting in the way of us getting along. It's fine. We don't need him. Yeah? Th don't need him? Let's get along. We few remaining mono cubs must get along. We are all friends. No matter what, we must always get along. Not even father can stop us from getting along. I will not forgive that. Not if he knows what is good for him. Huh? Hmm? Wonderful. This academy belongs to us. The age of the Mono Cubs begins now. <laughs> this is the weirdest vomit sound I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> How dare you take that rebellious toe with me, young man? That's nice. And yet, this angsty attitude of yours is just so cute. They are so cute. It's so cute how your little crew has shrunk by one member. <laughs> yep, shrunk. You're not getting any larger, you know. They're so freaking cute. Ah, it's so unbearably cute. All this cuteness makes me feel like I'm about to sneeze. Ah, ah, ah. How horrible. Ah, Glee Witch. Just happened. <laughs> the, we're 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 starting. To <laughs> we're not done with the. <laughs> just keep going. Okay. Who are you calling an ugly bitch? Stop it! It doesn't matter. Now's not the time for that. <sighs> Kirumi. I don't like that. I can't take this anymore. Even Kirumi was killed so brutally. <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. Am I gonna end up like that too? I'll protect you. I won't let that happen, Himiko. I'll protect you. Protect you? I'll protect you no matter what. I'll protect you no matter what. But I don't want to do this anymore either. Please, let's just stop this killing game. I don't care if we stay trapped here forever. Come on, come on. Oh, isn't that what Atua said? Cause Atua says so. Our desire, even your desire to escape this place, can corrupt you beyond redemption. <laughs> it's Monokuma who is corrupt. He is the one who distributed the motive videos. I see, yes. Those videos were more dangerous than we thought. 
to have driven Kirumi that far. That's true. What worries me is, as long as we're trapped here, we don't know what's true or false. Okay. That must be why Kirumi did not want to show the videos. She thought that if everyone felt the same murderous rage that she did, this killing game would be pure chaos. She wanted to stop it. Hey, hey! If that's the case, then we really shouldn't show our videos to each other. Of course! That was our consensus from the beginning. Not including you, of course. However, I had assumed Kokichi would try to show us our videos to get under our skin. But that did not come to pass. What, I wonder, were his intentions? Huh? I never do anything like that. I'm still thinking about what Kirumi said. Uh, um... What Kirumi said? That's... What she said earlier, correct? Huh? What about it? Uh, she um... said she remembered, and it didn't sound like a lie either. I see. Maybe that video had the properties of a flashback light if it made her remember. What? The properties of a flashback light? Okay. Still, how could Kirumi remember something she sh never should have forgotten? Serving the entire nation seems too important for her to just forget. That's true. Um, does that mean we have motives to kill that we'll remember by watching our videos? Hmm. And if that's the case, maybe it's for the best that we don't watch the videos. As long as we don't see the videos, we won't know our motives. Okay. Yeah, now I'm convinced. It's probably for the best. Those motive videos would mess us up. It's better if we just believe in each other. Yeah. That's right. It's best that we not remember our motives, for everyone's sake. Oh dear. Hearing you speak of everyone's sake is the least believable lie I've heard yet. That's so mean. How rude. I'm always doing stuff for everyone's sake. It's a lie. I'm sure you won't believe me when I say stuff like that, so I'll just keep lying. Um... But maybe seeing Kirumi's final moments has made me change my views. Because she tried to escape until the very end. Running away to live might not be a bad idea. You're right. Maybe, maybe facing the truth isn't enough. That's right. Yeah, true. It's okay to run sometimes. You just gotta win in the end. That's all you gotta do. And with that, the second class trial ended for us. A Pyrrhic victory. We said still lost a friend. What is the end Kaito spoke of? And how do we reach it? I don't know. I still don't know. When we returned from the courtroom, the area was already blanketed in darkness. For now, we should rest. To me, that seems the most rational course of action. You're right. Yeah, my brain's out of juice from going full throttle all day. Why you? Like you even have a brain to use. I won't forgive you! Anyway, this killing game is over. I won't allow it to go on. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. As long as we listen to our duo, we'll all be just fine. What's wrong? What's wrong, Gonta? Why are you staring up at the sky? Mm. It's just... Even when all this bad stuff happens, stars are always so pretty. But... But stars here different. Not the same ones Gota used to. Uh, um... Different? Do you mean the position of the stars? Mm. Yeah, Gota looking, but no can find star he remembers. Hmm. Why? But why? Were we taken somewhere far away? Far away? Hey, so... Hey, let's all head back already. I'm wiped out. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Hey! Oh, hold on. I have to tell you guys something. Huh? What now? Like I said, I'm wiped out. Right now. Now, now. It won't take that long. So just listen to what I have to say. What is it? Well then, what is it you have to say? Um... Everyone seems to be treating me like some kind of compulsive liar. You get it? But that's ridiculous. 
There's a way worse liar than me in our group. Huh? A liar worse than you? <laughs> I'm talking about Maki. Huh? What? What? What do you mean? Maki's a liar. Ah. Maki admitted it during the class trial, remember? Ryoma wanted her to show him his motive video, because he was looking for a reason to live. Well, you know. But that wasn't the whole story. Ryoma was blackmailing you, wasn't he, Maki? Huh? Blackmail? Um. Ryoma just so happened to discover Maki's true identity. So he used that to blackmail her. I bet he said something like... If you don't show me my motive video, I'll tell everyone what you really are. That's why Maki didn't want us to know she met with Ryoma. Which means... She wanted to keep her true identity a secret. That's why she kept quiet until the last minute. Hold on! Why you? What shit are you making up now? Maki's true identity? What? <laughs> I've known Maki's true identity the whole time. For a moment there, I thought Maki had disappeared. She moved so fast. You know, this is an interesting turn of events. But would you really kill me in front of everyone? Hey, Maki, what the hell's going on? Yeah, you can probably snap my neck like a twig right now. But that's not your style. You, you would rather kill from the shadows. Right, Miss Ultimate Assassin? Wasn't Pekka the Ultimate Assassin? No. No. What was she? The Ultimate Swordswoman. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I was wondering if she was the ultimate assassin. Oh, give me side coming. I had that thought earlier. <laughs> I just didn't say it because I was like, it's probably stupid. You're so mean. We got a new present. Yay! Holy crap, that was long. That was That's so good long. <coughs> I know, I'm glad that we broke glad, it up. I'm glad we broke it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it was good though. So much happened. Right? There was a lot of like backloaded content in that one. Yeah. Yeah. Like, um, okay. So what'd you think of the trial of, uh, Kirumi being the, the killer and, and like just the whole deduction, how it was done and everything. Well, once they got past all the repeating of everything, um, and drawing it out as long as possible. Okay. It was really good. <laughs> No, because they were like, oh, what in the rope? Hey, what else could be? Like, it just, it felt like, this one felt like it was much more obvious than past ones. Mm. I don't think I've ever been able to really predict as much as I did in this one. The only thing I didn't have, well, I kept saying Kaito. I didn't have the killer. <laughs> yeah. I didn't have the end and I didn't have the motive, but right. well, I had the method. Not, there's not much that points to Kirumi. Yeah. Other than the black piece of fabric, that's pretty much the only thing. Yeah, and that was Up the only thing I could then, figure out. Up until then, I mean, every, anybody could have done it. Yeah. You know? And I figured Kaito did it because he was like, ugh, he was tailing uh, Shuichi so hard. And was like, I believe in you. I'm going to be the main event. You Like, they were so heavy-handed and trying to make it look like him that I was like, I... Everything else has been heavy-handed with this case, so I guess right. that means well, it's him. What, what Kaito's trying to do when he says stuff like that is he's just trying to make Shuichi feel more comfortable revealing the truth. Right. I just don't trust him. Because he says he's going to like take responsibility for any of his mistakes, and he's his sidekick, so... Right, but what? why does he want... What's his motive? Why does he want to do that? Because he believes in him. Yes, I don't buy that. He's the ultimate astronaut, so why does he give a shit about this detective? You know what I mean? That's just how he is. Okay, it's just odd, I guess, but it's Danganronpa, so. It is weird to have a character like Kaito that's yeah. like kind of the opposite of Kokichi in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. Or like a character that is disruptive in any way, like a Byakuya or like. A Nagito. Kind of a pessimistic <coughs> view of others. 
Yeah. Well, I guess it's because the last time we had someone who was so like hopeful and like encouraging and everything ended up being uh, untrustworthy. Like, I mean, Nagito was like, I believe in you. You know, like, yeah, yeah. Was Nagito over- was very optimistic about everyone. Yeah, he was in way- the first chapter. He's, yeah. He was like talking about everybody like a, a fanboy. Right. So I guess yeah. I'm just waiting for the shoe to drop with Kaito, if you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm just kind of waiting for that to happen. But that was good. I'm glad that they went the direction they did with Kirumi. I did not expect her to be... The ultimate prime minister. Yeah. And what was with that, like, make our country great again thing? Yeah, it was just a Trump reference. I know. It's just, I didn't realize this game was so new. Yeah, 2017. I know. It just, it (coughs) continuously blows my mind. He's been in office for two years. That continuously blows my mind. It just seems like it's only been a year. But, um... Yeah, so that was really, really interesting. I like that Maki is the ultimate assassin. That makes yeah. more sense for her. Well, you know that she you knew that she wasn't the ultimate child caregiver. No. Yeah, and she's got that big red door. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm glad that they made her like it, I'm glad they made it like her ultimate title mm-hmm. that she's a killer. And they weren't just like because when they initially were like, Maki's true identity, I was like, oh, no, don't be another serial killer, you know? Yeah. Don't be, yeah. you know, shining hope or whatever it was that uh, um, Pekko was posing as in the second game. Right, right, yeah. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm glad that... I'm glad uh, that it wasn't like a third serial killer, but it's like, oh, she's the ultimate assassin. She's just... She's a... Yeah. Serial killer for hire. Yeah. You know, like, mm-hmm. yeah. But, um, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. Let's see what, what happens with that. Mm-hmm. I wish that Kokichi would go away. He does keep the game interesting, though. So I appreciate him for that factor. Mm-hmm. He's annoying. He's an, an annoying little rascal, but he does add that element of, um, uncertainty and, uh, chaos, really. He's just kind of the ultimate chaos yeah. in this game. So I like I like him for that. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay, well, we're, we're not going to go on too long, but uh, Chapter yeah. 3 starts in the next video, which we posted the day after tomorrow. That's right. Taking we're our taking day a, off. Taking a day off after trials. Um, you know how we do. <laughs> you know how we do. That's right. Uh, I'm trying to think. Don't spoil the comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. be Whatever. nice, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Watch out for the recommended videos on the sidebar. Yeah. Because... You can't do anything about that. Yeah. Um, don't tweet at me telling me you already watched someone else play this. Yeah, there's no reason for that. <laughs> if you want to watch us play it, watch us play it. And if you don't, yeah. don't. It's fine. <laughs> we... Or just doing it for fun, so yeah. We no hope need, you enjoy no it. You need to but... tell me that it was so unimportant to you that you watched it somewhere else. Yeah. Um, it's a okay. bummer. Yeah. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Thank you guys. We'll see you then. Think critically. <laughs>